in previous video we discussed about FRA one of the simplest methods um, for uh, hedging interest rate risk uh, hope you understood that concept uh, today interest rate futures okay so what's interest rate futures these are instruments which can be bought and sold where you can take short and long position suppose if the prevailing market interest rate is 10 percent then the pricing of interest rate future will be 100 minus 10 that is 90 that is 100 minus interest rate okay so the point is if interest rate is rising the pricing of interest rate futures will be in a declining trend that it is always 100 minus interest rate okay inversely when interest rate is in a declining trend so the IRF cot IRF means interest rate futures okay IRF cot will be in an increasing trend so IRF rate always going to be inversely related with interest rate here you imagine the case of a borrower think a borrower is always concerned about what kind of risk he is always concerned about the risk of increasing interest rate right but the investor investors point of view he is always concerned about the risk of decline in interest rate right take the case of borrower okay if the interest rate is rising what will be the actual situation of borrower tell me if interest rate is rising borrower can borrow at a low interest rate now but definitely the interest rate will be higher in future okay but here one more implication that is if interest rate is rising IRF cot will be down that thing I already discussed you in the beginning okay that is if interest rate rising the pricing of interest rate future will be in a declining trend okay so here the borrower can take a short position on IRF contract short position means you have agreed to sell IRF at a defined price so in future when interest rate rise what would happen to this IRF contract IRF court will decline okay but you have agreed to sell at a higher rate so if you agree to sell at a higher price definitely you are going to make money out of this okay I will explain this concept with an example okay suppose you are a borrower okay so the prevailing interest rate is 10% uh, okay uh, you want to borrow um, after four months you don't want to borrow now you want to borrow after four months okay so you expecting a rise in the interest rate you expecting a rise in the interest rate after four months that is um, the interest rate will become 11% okay here the interest rate is increasing from 10 percent to 11 percent even for that future borrowing you want to borrow at 11 percent right so what is IRF code now it's 90 that is 100 minus 10 90 so what would be the IRF code later that is after four months what would be the IRF code it would be 89 right 100 minus 11 percent so it is clear that later that is after four months IRF code would be 89 so you have to take a short position on IRF contract at rupees 90 so when interest rate rise to 11 percent IRF code will be low that is 89 but we contract to sell at rupees 90 so gain so we can offset the excess outflow of interest expenses okay that is we offset the excess outflow of interest expense through interest rate futures okay